Hey guys, welcome to Link Step by Step tutorial series. I'm Ripon Dutto. Today I'm gonna discuss about Link to SQL. So let's get started. Alright, first of all, I wanna create a new project. So and in this case, I'm gonna use console application. Let's say Link part 6 link to SQL okay all right so this is our project at first I want to add link to SQL so right click on the project then add new item then select data then you can see link to SQL classes let's say this is our data context add okay so in the data context you can add classes or in this case I'm gonna use database so let's create a connection right click on the data context I mean data connection then add connection then give the server name in my in my case my server name is my name Ripon SQL server authentication or you can use Windows authentication then select oops so database password and select database in this case I'm gonna use Northwind database test connection succeeded then ok alright so this is our database North wind then you can select the tables which tables you are gonna use you can take all the tables or you can take a specific which table you are interested to work with let's say in my case I want to take product drag and drop yes then I want to take another which is categories all right or you can take let's say orders order details and so on so let's keep it simple so we have a product table and category table all right so this is our data context now we have to use this data context to connect to SQL and query or you can look at the data context class as you can see this is our data context class All right. So, all right. Data context. Data context. Oops. So go to the data context. DBML. Then go to the properties. Then change the name. I'm gonna use only data context. Now, you can see data context. Let's say DB equal new data context so first of all I wanna select the data from product table so bar let's say items or you can say products equal db dot products in oops 
copy from p in db dot products where p dot category id equal let's say one then select p that means we are selecting all products which has category id one now i want to use for each loop item in p uh, products then console write let's say id equal item dot product id then let's say product name item dot product name then let's say price so price equal item dot unit price that's it now run the project control f5 yes as you can see product id 1 2 24 34 35 so these are the all products which has the category id 1 and as you can see and if you like to see the product id 2 yep all right now I like to show you how to use like operator so let's see I want to use I want to show all the products which is started a with their product name let's say let's say SQL methods so I have to import right click then resolve using system.data.link.sql client alright dot there are lots of method I'm gonna use like alright so p dot product name and now is the pattern let's say I wanna see all the products which is started by a alphabet alright so run the project yep we have only two products which is started their product name by a now let's see another one which is ended by a so yeah these are the products which is ended by a so you can use like operator like in SQL query alright now I'm gonna show you how to insert a data I mean a product so what we need to do is we don't need to print we need to create a new product let's say new product equal new product and let's say product name equal let's give a test product then unit price let's say 59 then product category equal let's say 2 and units in a stock let's say 10 so this is our new product now I want to save or insert this product into database so how do I add this product into database DB dot products insert on submit then 
here you can see as a parameter which is entity product entity in our case our product entity is new product all right now we can add try catch block exception let's say e so if there are any error we can print e e dot message or we can just save I mean submit changes all right now we can run the project and finally we can print a line which is inserted successfully So, what we can do is just controller 5. Yep, insert it successfully. Now, what we can do is we don't need to add, we can just print um, where let's say dot product I mean category ID equal 1 controller 5 as you can see yep product name test and what happened test product oops we used what product category ID 2 so ID should be 2 now let's see controller 5 yes here is a product test product as you can see test product unit price 59 all right now what we can do is we can we already have seen that how to select data from table and how to insert table now it's turn to how to update the data so we want to get product dot product what was the product id as we can see a product id is id2 all right so p dot product id equal id2 select p then I want to update the product products dot as you can see so what we can do is actually we are selecting only one product so what we need to do is we have to say first or default now we can get this all right now I want to change the unit price let's say 120 all right then what then I need to update the database so now product is a you know single product so we cannot use product in for each loop instead of using for each loop we have to use just simple without for loop or for each loop now what we can do is product product and product all right now let's see control f5 yes product unit price is now changed 
now let's go to the SQL server this may SQL server database not wind I'm going to look at product table so we can say where product ID equal 82 then execute you know you can see product unit price is now 120 now let's say this is 105 all right now look at the SQL server execute 105 that means our table is now updated now how to we delete the row from the table so first of all we need to select the let's say product so this is the product where product ID is 82 now what we can do is just db, db dot products dot delete on submit then you have to pass the parameter product to sit then what you have to do is we have to db dot submit changes that's it so run the project control f5 now you can see product now run the again because whenever we are showing this data it was first selected the data then deleted so now we can see even we maybe got we may get an error so we do need to delete this just run the project as you can see there is no object exception and we can look at to the database directly yes there is no record for product ID 82 so now you can see that our record is deleted all right so this is you know very simple and you can learn it easily so link is very you know handy you can query in a simple way you don't have to write SQL query so I think this tutorial will help you to create your own query and you can expand this um, you know technique by yourself thank you very much for watching this tutorial if you like this tutorial don't forget to subscribe this channel if you have if you have any question or if you have any difficulty please comment in the comment box and if you wish you can write a comment as a review for me so see you soon in the next tutorials till then bye